I am caught in the middle of a civil war within Luskin. Death is all around, and every few minutes one side of the civil war forces are trying to kill me. Some say there's opportunity in chaos such as this, and I agree. Especially if I am so capable a hero as my reputation seems to be telling everyone. That being the case, then I will confront one of these high captains, bargain to kill the other, and if given the chance, double-cross them when I return with the other's head. Or at the least, I will just get a reward for removing their enemy. If they don't want to negotiate, then I kill them. I have to get into that host tower, and the high captains are my only way in, since they are the only ones who are allowed to meet with the arcane brotherhood who lives in the host tower. Besides, I don't expect men such as this to actually live up to their side of the bargain. But on the other hand, I don't need to go around killing their entire armies, or what is left of them. The point here is to get into the host tower, not blood for blood's sake, even if it means more treasure. As long as it's not my city of Chondath, I don't mind the chaos. I see fear in everyone's eyes here, even in the two High Captain's men. This is a place rife for opportunity, the kind that I like, though it requires me to kill many people my way. Well, so be it. That's what I'm used to, and that's why I pay Tomi. It's a place where you kill or be killed, just like my church and how I grew up. Perfect. I am used to this. And to make it all the more easy, it's right out in the open, so no one has to guess who is your enemy and who is biding their time to kill you. Okay, I've sold much of my wares. Now I have 215,000 gold. Hello there. You must have taken quite a risk to walk the streets of Luskin with all the fighting. I have received little in the way of supplies and less in the way of customers, but I shall serve you as best I can. Hmm. I'd like to ask you some questions. There's little else for me to do, so ask what you will of me. Have you heard anything about cults in the city? No. Perhaps you could ask the priests at the Temple of Tempest about that, however. Is there something else you want to know? Hmm. Well, I've already known. I already know what's going on in the city. Goodbye. Hi, farewell to you. Who's this? Greetings! I am Arto, a red wizard of Thay. I have numerous arcane and magical items that I would be pleased to sell you at semi-reasonable prices. Hmm. I know all about you red wizards. What are you doing out here? Strange. Pretty far from home. But then again, so am I. Let me see what you have. All wizard robes and... Belt of guiding light. Well... Probably don't need anything, but it's worth looking. You might have a magical item I could use. Healer's kit. Robes. Hmm. Cloaks, robes. Nothing. Not interested. Is your guardian? The golem stares straight ahead and does not seem to notice me. All right, we are looking for the temple where uh, Lady Arbeth and uh, what was his name? Definitely not Fenthic. The spy master, or attack? <laughs> you fool! I guess they're done killing each other. Now they come after us. Stay alive, Tommy. Ah. Ah. Die at my hand. You'll find your death here. Ah. 
we'll find our death here. Now what? You'll find your death here. It's a little annoying. Oh, one of these were rats. I can keep this up for a while. Not forever, though. Come on, Tommy, start killing something. Got it. Here, Tommy. I love this part. Die at my hand. Ah. Tommy, drink this. Another. fight you need to rest from. Ugh, they're still coming. These are the two different... different pirate captains. Yet they're choosing to attack us over each other. We need to rest. We can't keep this up. Ah, kill him. Where is the temple? Calmore's fantabulous contraptions and magical errata. Temple of Tear, right behind us. We need to get out of here. Come on, let's go. I have some important information for you. Ah, Aaron. It is good to see you at last, my friend. I fear I have terrible news. It seems that the good lady Erebeth has disappeared. We can find no trace of her. Hmm. Do you have any idea where she might be? She has not returned to Neverwinter. Part of me wonders if... If perhaps she seeks to exact her own brand of vengeance upon the cultists. Or maybe her dreams drove her to madness. I cannot be certain. Erebeth was acting so strangely before her disappearance. She had an icy calm, as if the Lady Paladin had... Accepted an unpleasant fate. Hmm. I worry for her safety. She is not in her right mind, I fear. I shall try to find her if I can. Your most important task is to find your way into the host tower, my friend. The cult must be dealt with. If you find Erebeth there, all the better. If she is not... A true search will have to wait until after your own mission is complete, no matter how much we might wish otherwise. So then, let us discuss your mission. Where do I find this host tower? The tower lies on an island, reachable by a bridge on the northeastern shore. There are rumors of other entrances, but I have been able to find none. The bridge, however, is guarded well by both armsmen and sorcery. 
the wizards of the Arcane Brotherhood value their privacy. What do you know about the Arcane Brotherhood? Little enough, if the truth be told. The wizards search diligently for spies at every turn, so I receive only questionable news from outside the tower itself. Hmm, I can see how that would make it difficult to know anything much about them. It is known, however, that the Arcane Brotherhood are the true power in Luskan. The High Captains rule the city, but only with the wizards leave. How the cult gained its foothold there can only be guessed at. The wizards may be allies, or indeed even members of their cause. I was kind of thinking of that. Maybe they're even the ones who started this cult. If you do gain entrance, use extreme caution and find out all you can about their plans. Assaulting them directly may not be an option. Or are they just allied with this cult? Somehow, for some reason, maybe to strike at Neverwinter since you, your two cities are at odds. How do I get inside the tower? I believe I know of a way, though it is a risky path to say the least. The bridge to the tower's island is guarded by magic that is not easily bypassed. Those who wish admittance to the tower must be granted the proper pass by the wizards. Papers which are affixed with a magical seal that allows the possessor to pass unhindered by the war. Yes, I've already guessed at this. One of the high captains will have it. Unfortunately, the only persons which I am sure possess such a pass are the High Captains themselves. I'm ahead of you here, Aaron. If you were somehow to acquire one of these documents for me, with its seal, I could easily use it to forge a similar pass for you. Hmm, I see. Oh, it's got to be in my name. Hmm, I'll go now. Go then, and do what you must. I wish you success would be simple if just whoever holds the pass is allowed to go. Priest of Tear, huh? Hello to you. Welcome, brother. You are welcome in the house of the Maimed God. Few of us remain here due to recent hardships. I only ask that you do not add to them. Could I ask you some questions? I will answer you what I can. What do you wish to know? So what has happened here? There's not much of a temple left, though once this was once a fine temple to the just god in the north, nowhere was a champion of justice needed more. When the high captains began their war against one another, each expected the warrior priests of our temple to aid them. We sought to help all and not ally ourselves only to one, and therefore met only suspicion. We were attacked several times, but only recently did the temple fall. I was away from the temple, but upon my return I was told that sorcerers and soldiers had suddenly appeared and slain most of my brethren and looted the temple. What few survived the battle had been taken prisoner. I know not what has been done with them. Perhaps they had been pressed into service as the High Captain's wish. I can only pick up what pieces remain with the few acolytes I have left and push on. Fortunately, your Lord Nasher has been very kind in his donations. Housing Aaron Gend and you and the others is the least we can do. So, t so tell me what's going on in Luskin. That is a very large question, friend. What is it about the city that puzzles you? What is all this fighting about? Nobody is sure. There were five high captains who ruled the city at the bidding of the wizards of the Arcane Brotherhood, perhaps. But all five of the pirate lords held power. Several weeks ago, without warning, the high captains began a war to eradicate each other. Our temple is not the only casualty in the strife that ensued. Do you know anything about any cults active in the city? Hmm, cults, do you say? I was told of any one of a number of small sects that were active in Luskin. Uh, none of any true importance, though. My master did express concern once that several of the high captains were associating overmuch with a cult dedicated to the evil goddess Oro, but I know a little more of it. Is there no one who can stop all this fighting? Nobody except for the inv an invasion by the Lord's Alliance or the Arcane Brotherhood's intervention, perhaps. For whatever reason, they remain unmoved by all the violence. Why do you think that is? Who can say? The Brotherhood have always kept to themselves in the Host Tower. No one but the High Captains themselves ever sees them. Goodbye. I go in peace, brother. Know that the good, just God watches you. His judgment's swift and final. He's not allowed to see me. The Dark Lady ensures that. 
Who is this person who brings you back from the dead? Well met. Greetings, my lord. Such a hero as yourself is welcome within these halls. Aaron Gent has asked me to aid you in your cause. I have erected a teleportion portal here, similar to the one in Port Last, and have attuned myself to the stone of recall you carry. Hmm. All right. I must go. I wish you well, then, my lord. May tear bless your efforts. More reason to get out of here. But we need to rest. Watch your back. These crazy pirate forces could come in and attack at any moment. Well. Come, Shadow. Not as powerful as you used to be, but you can help. At least keep their attention for a few seconds. If it comes to that. All right, where did we go? We went into the Runehammer Smithy, I take it. And there's a store, a mercantile store right next to it. The Northern Four Adventuring Troop. What's in here? Ah, a smith. Hey, okay. Aye, I have little enough stock left and barely enough metal to forge. State your business or move on. Hmm. May I ask you questions? I be not in the mood to answer your questions. Find someone else to bother if ye not be a paying customer. Can I see what you have? Well, this is a little more... A little better. I have a dark steel tower shield. There's got to be a point where I come across some better armor than what I'm wearing. Armor of comfort. Well, this one is actually very good. Reduces your weight and allows me to heal more. So, it also has an uh, enchanted armor bonus. Hard to beat that. It'd have to be something pretty good. I doubt any smith would just sell something as simple. Something better than that. Maybe I'll find something in a dragon treasure hoard. But I cannot think of anything else. Maybe by defeating one of the pirate captains, maybe they'll have something better. Can't say. All I know is that this armor is very good that I'm wearing. And you don't have anything that I am interested in. Let's leave the good dwarf to his gruff voice. Well, I'll tell ye. Very rough. Alright, so we've searched all these things. Uh, this is the slums. Gates into the host tower. So we've been up there. Barham's Quarter. Wink and Tickle. City Gates is where we came in. So, that just leaves this southwest would have to be to the other pirate the other high captain pirate captain high captain same thing mercantile store what is this someone's home attack more high captain idiots A lot of them. I wish I could turn undead on them. And there goes my shadow. Direwolf. His corpse is on the floor. Good potion. 29 gold. I don't have a use for all this gold now. For this adventure. Of course I'm going to hold on to it. But I can always use it to retire on. Which is what I'm actually looking, f looking towards now. 
What if I gained 500,000 gold? More than enough for any fool to okay, use for the rest of his time. Ah, uh, it's done. 32, that's trapped, that door. I have no idea where this is going. Okay, do you want to disable that, please? It's done. Okay, 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 okay. Unlock it. Ah, uh, it's done. Ooh, portal. I have no idea where this is gonna go. This very well could be the way into one of the high captain's place. Let's just uh, leave it for now and come back if we need to later. I have a feeling it will be somewhat. It means something. Galmar, Kalmar. It's fantabulous contraptions and magical errata. Sounds like a gnome. If I ever heard of a gnome shop, it's something like you would name it. Potion of speed. We didn't get to loot all these bodies here. Another one of those were rats. Yeah, right. Kill it. Yeah, we need to move. Seems to be the meeting point to where these two forces keep fighting. Get to the gnome shop. Things may be worse at night. Is that door trapped? You want to disable this, Tommy? Tommy. Disable the trap. Get hit in the head uh, up there? Uh, That's locked. No can do. You can't pick that. Uh, no can do. Uh. Hmm, the stone guardian. A uh, little no mage, is it? Hello there. Come in, come in. Take a gander at my various wares. They may be depleted from the war, but I've still a variety to knock your knickers off. What war aren't you talking about? Who are you? The name is Kolmar, purveyor of fine magical goods and inventor extraordinaire. I'd be more than happy to show you my most recent invention, if it, uh, wasn't broken. What invention is that? I finished it only a week ago. My finest work, in fact. Named it the Fantabulous Contrabulator. Not too much, do you think? It has the ability to turn out any number of fantastic magical potions, a wide variety according to customer specifications. I would have made a fortune had cruel fate not intervened. Hmm, that would be very helpful. Picture this. There was I, sweating away at the final touches to the contrabulator, eager to show it to my jealously filled colleagues and end their mocking once and for all. Suddenly, a crash. Hideous undead creatures stormed my secret laboratory, shredding everything they found, including my beloved invention. I tried to stop them, but they were too much for me. And, um... Awfully intent on taking a bite, if you know what I mean. So I ran for it and barely escaped through a magical hole I always carry with me. Uh, alas, I cannot go back to my lab until all this fuss is over, and my invention is ruined. <sighs> Can I ask you some questions about this invention of yours? Well, I'd certainly hesitate to reveal the details of my patented theories on magical physics, but otherwise, certainly. Ask away. Where is this laboratory of yours? Hee <laughs> hee, normally I wouldn't tell anyone where my secret lab is, but I suppose it doesn't matter now, does it? It's down in the sewers, and no doubt in quite a state of disarray. If you find it, don't think less of me for all the mess. Oh yes, be wary of all the ghouls down there too. Don't know where they came from. How does this contrabulator work? Let's see, how shall I put this in layman's terms? 
The sewage water under the city has some unusual properties. Could be because of the host tower. Could be that some dragon died here long ago. Could be my imagination. Hard to say. Anyway, I found a way to distill the more magical elements of the sewer water and transform it via the contrabulator into magical potions. Brilliant, isn't it? Uh, rather disgusting. Don't know if I want to drink sewer water potions. But how do you use the machine? Well, were the machine working, it would have four levers, each one to add a degree of elemental essence into the mix. A pinch of fire, a dash of earth, either pull the lever or leave it in place. Once you have all four levers set, pull the chain to start the potion creation. Use the levers properly and mix the right elements, and poof, instant potion. Healing, invisibility, giant size, hair restoration, you name it. Aren't I a genius? But your hair restoration will go over well for all the gnomes. The exact ingredient for which potions, however... Uh, well, I hadn't time to determine that yet. Please do be careful and don't break the chain if you pull it. It's quite fragile. Could your machine be fixed and used? If you want to try, you're welcome to it. It would be quite a delight to return to my lab and have my machine once again intact. From what I remember, the ghouls ripped some of my levers. The machine is otherwise intact, so I would wager it. All four levers were fixed. The machine would work just fine. It only has enough fuel in it for, oh, maybe 30 potions or so? I won't be able to synthesize any more fuel from the sewage until spring runoff, just so you know. Uh, so it does have a limit, if it even exists and works how you say. Gnomes are known for bending the truth. I'd like to ask you something else. All right, what can I do for you? What kind of wares you sell here? Oh, this and that. Magical things I've collected over the years, plus more than a few I've made myself. I am most notorious... Uh, I'm a most notorious inventor, after all. You've no doubt heard of me. Hmm. No. Can I see your merchandise? Uh, uh, uh. Nothing that I'm really interested in. Storm armor. Certainly not better than what I'm wearing. I guess I got pretty lucky. I think I got this armor in the prisoner, the prison, down in Neverwinter. No, nothing there is better than what I have. I wouldn't mind a more powerful uh, flail, though. And I haven't come across one yet. Just the, the what is it? The one of Osiris. Heirs of, of Osiris. Good for undead, but nothing else. Oh, look at all this bag of holding. Oof! I should buy that actually. That's not even that expensive. But let's see, hundred percent. Weight reduction. Definitely worth it. There's all these other strange things. Mostly traps, thieves' tools. Alright then. So, are you asking me to go find your. Well, where is it? How do I get to it? As he said, it's in the sewers. get to the sewers yet. Alright, we're still looking for where this high captain is. Gold. Ocean of Clarity. Ah, uh, this is probably the one that had his tower burned down. An enemy of the high captain, attack! Ah. Fool, run while you can! You'll find your death here! A locked crate, huh? 
Okay, okay. Ah, come on. What is going on here? Where at? The wrong side of town, isn't it? Phenolope. Phenolope. Oh, who locks crates? Just let the wolf kill it. Destroy it. Ah, uh, it's done. You would think there'd be a letdown at some point with all this fighting. Where's this go? whole other area. Oh, that's strange. Well, let's go back through. If we can't find anything else, we at least we know we have that route to go. Phenolope. Barrels locked. Twenty three gold. Another one. Pray to whatever gods you worship. <laughs> Critical potion or critical wounds, sapphire. Locked crate and a trapped crate. Lock too, they're both locked. Ah, uh, it's done. Potion of aid, bolt of lightning. Ah, uh, it's done. Restoration scroll. Your end draws nigh. <laughs> That seems to be it. There's always also Barum's Quarter. Curse Quarter is this way. <sighs> At some point we will have to go through the sewers if one of the High Captains is down there. We'll have to get to one of his... Uh, what do you call it? His papers and they have to be forged in my name. Forge the necessary documents. I've decided to go after Barum. First, the first High Captain. I don't know if I only need one of them or both. But we'll start here. He's the one with the were rats, is he not? Yes, I was right. Well, that was easy. Looks like an entrance to the sewers here. Maybe that's where he's holed up too. The other one has a force of necromancers and he's now in the sewers as well. Locked. Locked. 
Ah, uh, it's done. Keep, stop kidding around. Twenty gold. Potion of clarity. All right. Well, other than this idiot, we can go down. Makes sense that were rats would be down in the sewers. We have keys to both places. Who's this? Looks like. Who are you? It's good that you've decided to speak with me. My name be Baram. The one and only true High Captain of Luska. You'll have to excuse me for speaking to you through an illusion. The way ah. you cut through me, man, one can't be too careful. You're good. I'll grant you that. As a matter of fact, you're good enough that I'd be willing to offer you a sweet little reward should you take care of Kurth for me, that other High Captain. Hmm. What kind of reward? Aha! So you are interested, after all. That'd be good to know. Well, now, what would uh, would make your a fair offer? A thousand gold pieces and some items of magical power and to boot? I'd be more than willing to give you that if you could actually rid me of that pest, Kurth, and bring me his head. What do you say to that? Hmm. What about Londa's children? Do you have them? Eh? Who are ye? Ah, the brats from the White Snow Manor, aye. Yes, I has them. Why do you ask? I want them released. Hmm, aye, aye, I can do that. If you really care about them brats, I'll release them to you once you bring me Cursed Head. If you're interested in me, offer that is. Perhaps. I want more gold, however. I figured you'd be asking. All right then, lad. 1,250 gold pieces for Cursed Head. How about that? I'm interested. I know, that does sound grand. It does. I'll be looking forward to sp spitting on that thug's head, I will. Now, do you wish to run off to do a deed now, or do you have something else for me? Hmm, I have some questions. I Well, I'd be not so fond of questions, but you can ask. What do you hope to get out of all this? Why do you need to know? Ha! It'd be no small matter, you know. I infected myself with lycanthropy so I could get this far, so I could get the prize we've all been seeking. The High Captain that lives to the last will be the one that becomes Luskin's war leader, and that's to be me, no doubts about it. Why would Luskin need a war leader? <laughs> that'd be for me to know and for everyone else to find out when it's time. Hmm. Where do I find Kurth? Well, the bloody pig has gone and walled himself up in the West Harbor with all his men. Everyone knows that. Coward he is. There be an entrance, however, in that wall right next to his old tower. That's where his men come and go from, uh, anyhow. A dangerous path, through and through, well, and well guarded, too. I've already been there, I know where it is. What do you know about Kurth's defenses? Pfft. Kurth be all about brawn, mostly. His bloody hands be nothing but brute fighters, and that be all he believes in. I hear he's gone and allied himself with them priestesses of Oro, the cruel ice goddess. Not like him at all. He must be getting desperate. <laughs> with all the better. All the better, methinks. I don't know where he puts his men or how many he has. You have to discover that for yourself. I want to talk about something else. Suit yourself. Hmm, I'll go now. Aye, haha, -ha, bring me that pig's head! I cannot wait to laugh at it good and hard, haha! -ha. Just so you're aware, I'm not breathing a word of our little deal here, aye? I don't want Kurt to hear none of it, so my men up top won't know you're working for me. Not that they seem to have stopped you much before now, anyway. But let me tell you this, if he tries to come inside me base any further, I'll consider it double cross and treat you as such, I. Eh? I'll be watching you. Undead behind there. Interesting.
Uh, 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 uh. Maybe he's the one that sent the ghouls to destroy that fabulous contraption thing that that stupid gnome created. All right. Well, better to get paid for killing the other one and then double crossing the other one once you're paid. Instead of working to fight them both. So, cursed quarters. Way down this way. this. Oh. Or it's right here. Let's go. Well, he's supposed to be holed up here. Which means we'd be running into a lot of his forces. Not the were-rats and his forces. It wouldn't make any sense, but who knows. They could have sent over an assault force. Uh, no can do. Why can't you unlock some of these, Tommy? Certainly sounds like there's fighting going on on this side. What's this? Is that Kurth now? Is that how they hide themselves? Keep themselves safe. Is there a door over there? No, no point in going up there then. All right, let's get this over with. Maybe after the chest. Ogre behind him. Bugbears. Ah, it's done. Bugbears with crossbows behind that. I'd rather fight the undead, to tell you the truth. Hmm. Okay, let's talk to this fool. Greetings, stranger. You've been rather the troublemaker, haven't you? You've cut through my men rather efficiently. I can respect that. In fact, I could use someone as strong as you to get rid of Baron for me. Not an easy task, I grant, but I'll reward you well. What would you say to that? What would be the reward, exactly? Well, let's see. I have a few magic items here that might interest you. They are worth a great deal. Plus a thousand gold pieces on top of that. All you'd have to do is bring me Baron's head. Would that interest you? Hmm. What about Elenwin's sister, Vane? Do you have her? The girl? The elf girl? Why, yes, I do. Quite a pretty lass, that one. Why would she interest you? I want her released. Hmm. You want me to bring... give her up, do you? Very well. Bring me Barum's head and you can have her. Barum already made me the same offer. So you've already spoken to Barum. And the little rat had the same idea I had, did he? Well, well. What do you plan to do then, stranger? To ask you some questions. Ha! I'd be willing to answer your questions, perhaps, if you weren't working for that little rat, Barum. So what's it going to be? Hmm. I suppose I'll have to kill you. Well, you can certainly try. Attempt to open this portcullis, and you'll discover just what defenses I can muster. Well... Yeah, he actually wasn't kidding. Six bud bears, priestess of Oral, and two ogre guards. Well, the other side had a whole bunch of ghouls, but that would be a little easier for me. Yeah, I've got to start somewhere. I've got to kill one of them, if not both. Well, we can do it. Come on, I've got a lot of potions. Let's just prepare. Get ready for the fight of your life. Bark skin. Bull strength. Speed. Open the door, Tommy. Uh, no can do. Well, oh, for crying out loud. 
How are we supposed to get here through here if you can't even open up the door? Shouldn't I have a key for this? Hmm. <sighs> That's just the situation with the high captains. What about the... What's her name? Rain that gave me the keys. Tell me you're useless. You can't do. We have no further business, you and I. Take one step into my base, and you'll pay the consequences, nah. fool. No can do. Absolutely useless, Tommy. I should just bash you over the head and throw you in the river. I don't know how to get in there. Perhaps through one of these homes. If we can find a way through. There's gotta be a way. Is there a secret door up here? Eyes peeled, little man. Not happy with you. Open the damn gate when I tell you to next time. I refuse to believe that that's the only way in. Uh, ah, it's barred from the other side. There's no physical way to actually do this. The only thing I can do is go back and try killing that other idiot. Barham's base key. Curse base key. Should this open it? Should be able to open it. There we go. War domain powers. Start with killing the ogres. Come on. Where's that priestess? There she is. I just passed her. She's invisible. Got you. a lot easier than I thought it would be. Alright, we're on the right side. Keep killing. Anything that moves except for that uh, elven girl. I expect what was his name? Barum to double cross us, so. It's their nature. Your Another head. priest. Draws Here comes Halfling Death! Bringing them to us, huh?
Tommy, here. I love this part! Move out of the way, spider. Better than you will for me. Tommy, stay alive. You will not survive. I love this part. Hi, Captain. That was a really good hit. All right, who's left? Seems we need to get out of here. Rest and bring back Tommy. It was so strange. Yes, 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 come. Still not happy you didn't open that thing up for me. I had to bash my way through it. Let's rest. Alright. Let's go back. Alexandrite. Who knows where he'll be? We'll have to search this whole area. Bolt. Don't want that. Locked. over there. Looks like maybe a little fortress. That could be where he is. Kurth. Another chest here. Locked. Ah, oh, it's done. All right. Let's explore the rest of this place before we go... Where is it? This section down here. This section, so the northeast is where I think he could be. It's down here. He'd be on one of these ships for all I know. Isn't that what pirates do? Okay, okay. Locked. Topaz. Barrel. Alexandrite. Pr cure critical wounds. His chest locked. Tommy, where'd you go? You were here. Hey! Come on. The shadow will open it. He is a shadow, though. He might not be able to bash it open. Okay, okay. Come on. Oh. 
No, it's a dead end. There's nothing here. Come on, Tommy. Unlock it. There we go. Alright, that's this section. Let's try the next. Ah, bugbear. Right. Whatever gods you worship. Thirty-four gold. Twenty-seven gold. Thirty-two gold. If I ever had to resort to begging on the street, I know where I'm looking for money. All the barrels and crates near around. And any chest I can somehow open up. What's this statue? It's a chest here. Locked. Here are critical wounds, and that's why I look through these chests, not just for the gold. What is this about? The inscription on the shield reads, Beware, the gods as our witnesses from this day forth. The entrance to ancient Illusk shall be sealed. Beneath this house, three ward guards the gate. Three wards guard the gates forever, confining the unholy evil of Voleron, the damned within. The ancient texts speak of a hero from the south that will break the seals and forever rid the world of the horror within. We pray that the seals will hold till that day comes. <laughs> Sounds almost like it was meant for me. Right, well that looks like it goes down into the sewers, but I was told that that's where he went. One of his mercenaries. Oh. A little confusing. This is the other sides. Now that we've opened a way here, they think they can come through here. Come on, Tommy, do something. Better than you have fallen before me! Better than you have fallen! <laughs> well, they are at war. They'll keep sending their forces back and forth to attack each other. Light... cured light wounds. Useless, actually. We st Stupid shadow. Alright, well, maybe we have to go below. Defeat that, whatever it was. The damned. If the hosts of the high tower sealed someone in and called them evil, you know they must. They must really be. There must be something to it. Ah, no can't Everywhere's locked from the other side. Floral spar. It's in here. Ah, no kind Everybody's barred their doors. All right. Well, this intrigues me. Let's look at this statue. Let's see if we can't get in. Locked. Unlock it. Between you and myself, we should be able to defeat whatever evil is here. Fulfilling the prophecy that somebody came from the south. A hero from the south. Ah, uh, it's done. I'm not in any hurry. Besides, if they're all undead, that's better for me. Evil guards the first seal. Would that be you, I suppose? I think I've seen an undead that parries so many of my attacks. He's a skilled skeleton warrior. Arrow-filled corpse. Written orders. What's this about? 
This letter has been written quickly and is smeared with blood. We have taken Burke's mansion with considerable casualties. Burke seems to have been in contact with a being called Voleron within the ruins of Illusk. There is talk of treasure. Find him, kill him, and bring back all that you f you find to fund the war effort. Signed, High Captain Kurth. Which is the one that I'm currently here trying to kill. Well, he sent his men in here to try to get the treasure for his war, huh? Skull Warrior's head. I don't know if that will be needed, but I'll take it anyways. Ah, it's done. Good job. What is this Altar about? Head of evil to prove the hero's courage. Hm. Well, that wasn't so hard. What's the statue say? What foul curse befell this land when the gates of hell would not open for Valoran the Damned? Though Illusk was brought to ruins, still his evil choked the very life from the land and those that died. At his hand will not sleep. Only the one who is destined to destroy Valoran will break the three seals. So have the gods decreed, so shall it be. I guess the gods were waiting for me then. Let's go down there, break the other seals, and kill this Valoran. Probably a lich of some kind. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.